Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha shared an undeniable chemistry that earned them a ticket into the most admired royal couple Hall of Fame. Their lavish wedding also captured the world's attention. However, since their union, a shocking series of secrets about Anisha's past have come to light, sparking outrage in Brunei and beyond. Many people at this point fear that it's all over. But what are these secrets, and why have they caused such an uproar? And could these revelations tarnish Prince Mateen's carefully curated public image? Join us as we uncover the truth behind the scandal, a royal love story shaken by hidden secrets. The perfect union of Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha, which once seemed like a flawless love story, has been overshadowed by secrets from Anisha's past, causing shockwaves in Brunei and beyond. Before his marriage, Prince Mateen of Brunei was well known for his endearing demeanor and striking public persona, which had long drawn media attention from around the world. As the youngest son of Sultan Hassanal Bolkaya, one of the wealthiest monarchs in the world, Prince Mateen was always a favorite of the public, not just because of his royal lineage, but also due to his down-to-earth nature and good looks. His Instagram account, where he shares glimpses of his athletic pursuits, family moments, and his passion for adventure, has garnered millions of followers, making him a social media sensation. However, it was not until he married Princess Anisha that the spotlight on him grew even brighter, capturing the attention of both royal watchers and fans. Anisha, born Anisha Issa Kalebic, was relatively unknown before her relationship with Prince Mateen went public. Raised in Brunei with a mix of Southeast Asian and European heritage, Anisha had largely kept her life out of the limelight. Her father was of Croatian descent, while her mother was Bruneian, giving her a unique background that piqued the curiosity of the public. Although she lived abroad for much of her life, her path crossed with Prince Mateen's several years before their eventual marriage. The couple, both strikingly beautiful and seemingly perfect for one another, began their relationship quietly. Although they were seen together at various public events, it wasn't until their engagement announcement that their relationship truly became the talk of the town. The engagement of Prince Mateen and Anisha was a grand affair, drawing global attention not just because of the couple's high profile, but also due to the opulence of the Bruneian royal family. The announcement was met with excitement as fans and media outlets alike eagerly speculated on the details of the upcoming wedding. As the couple prepared for their marriage, they quickly became one of the most admired royal duos worldwide. From their stunning wedding photos to their apparent compatibility and grace, many hailed them as one of the most attractive royal couples to have emerged in recent years. The union of Prince Mateen and Anisha seemed like a fairy tale, and the public, enchanted by their beauty and connection, embraced them wholeheartedly. However, as often happens with figures in the public eye, especially royals, the adoration was not destined to last without challenge. The most recent chapter in their story has been marked by the emergence of hidden secrets from Princess Anisha's past. As these secrets continued to surface, the question arose, could these revelations tarnish the public image of Prince Mateen and his wife? The admiration the couple once enjoyed has now been clouded by the past of the woman who became the prince's wife. It's clear that these hidden secrets have marred the once perfect image of the royal couple. As they continue to emerge, the future of their public relationship will undoubtedly be shaped by how they navigate the fallout. For many, the fairy tale has ended abruptly and unexpectedly. For Prince Mateen and Anisha, the question remains, how will they move forward from this point? And what will these revelations mean for their lives in the public eye? The royal wedding and public perception of Anisha. The wedding of Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha was nothing short of a global spectacle blending Brunei's rich traditions with the grandeur expected of a royal ceremony. It wasn't just a union of two people. It was a highly choreographed event that signaled Anisha's official introduction to life as a royal. However, the wedding's grandeur also marked the beginning of a much larger journey. Anisha's transformation into a public figure under the watchful eyes of the world. For Anisha, this transition was anything but seamless. Raised in a relatively private setting, she had spent much of her life shielded from the intense scrutiny that comes with being part of a royal family. Now, as the wife of Prince Mateen, she was thrust into the public spotlight, a place where every move, word, and gesture would be carefully analyzed. The people of Brunei, deeply rooted in their conservative and traditional values, held high expectations for their new princess. While her charm and poise initially won over many, 
There were murmurs of doubt in certain circles about her ability to adapt fully to her role. In the eyes of the public, Anisha seemed like the perfect match for the prince. With her poise, elegance, and striking beauty, she appeared to be the ideal partner for someone as celebrated as Prince Mateen. The couple's wedding only intensified this admiration. Her public appearances, full of warmth and affection, sparked a wave of admiration from fans who saw in her a perfect blend of modern charm and royal grace. Early photos and videos from her royal engagements circulated widely on social media, showing her participating in traditional ceremonies, charity events, and diplomatic gatherings. To her credit, Anisha appeared to embrace these new responsibilities with grace, even as she adjusted to the immense pressure of representing one of the world's most prominent royal families. As Anisha worked to adapt to her new role, the public's fascination with the royal couple began to shift. What initially appeared to be curiosity about her adjustment to royal life soon evolved into a deeper, more invasive scrutiny. While many praised her efforts to embrace Brunei's traditions, others began to dig into her past, searching for any details that might explain how a woman with such a modern background could fit into the highly traditional framework of Brunei's monarchy. The scrutiny that had followed the wedding day took a darker turn when hidden secrets from Anisha's past began to emerge. People who had once admired her for her grace and elegance now turned their attention to her personal history, digging through old photos, social media posts, and past relationships. The more they uncovered, the more questions arose, leading to a growing sense of discomfort among the people of Brunei, where traditions and conservative values hold great importance. What followed was a series of revelations that shocked many and cast a shadow over the couple's seemingly perfect image. The hidden secrets of Anisha's past started to surface, and with them, so did a wave of public disapproval. The whispers that had begun behind closed doors quickly spread across social media. As the secrets of her past life emerged, many began to question whether her lifestyle before meeting Prince Mateen aligned with the values expected of someone in the royal family. In the wake of these revelations, many began to wonder how this would impact Prince Mateen's public image. The once adoring fans of the royal couple were now divided, and the admiration for their union was beginning to wane. Could these hidden secrets affect their reputation? Would the past of Prince Mateen's wife come to define his future in the public eye? The pressure was mounting, and the once perfect image of this royal couple was starting to crack. It was clear that the emergence of these secrets marked the beginning of a new chapter for Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha, one that would require them to navigate the complexities of public life in the face of growing scrutiny. The backlash begins, revealing the hidden past. As the excitement of the grand wedding of Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha settled, social media users began to dig deeper into Anisha's past, eager to uncover more about the woman who had captured the heart of the popular prince. What started as innocent curiosity soon escalated into a frenzy, as hidden secrets from Anisha's earlier life began to emerge. It didn't take long for old photos and personal details to surface on social media platforms. Instagram, Twitter, and other online spaces became hotbeds for individuals sharing and discussing images of Anisha before her royal marriage. While she had maintained a relatively low profile before her wedding, the moment she became the wife of Prince Mateen, her life was no longer private. These photos, some of which were taken years before the wedding, showed Anisha in revealing outfits, partying in nightclubs, and even smoking. The images, which appeared harmless to some, were deeply shocking to others, particularly in Brunei, where strict Islamic values govern much of daily life. What further fueled the controversy were the photos showing Anisha in close proximity to various men, with some even showing her in intimate positions with former boyfriends. These images painted a picture that seemed to contradict the conservative image that Brunei's royal family had cultivated for generations. The hidden secrets that began to emerge after the wedding cast a shadow over Anisha's image. The public's perception of a perfect royal princess, full of grace and beauty, was now being re-examined through a skeptical lens. For many Bruneians, these revelations were more than just a personal matter for Anisha. They were a reflection of how she, as the wife of their prince, could potentially influence the royal family's reputation. The images that had been circulating on social media seemed to conflict with the values that were highly revered in Brunei. This created a backlash, with many questioning 
whether Anisha was truly the right fit for Prince Mateen. In a country where public behavior is scrutinized and where family honor is of utmost importance, these secrets became a point of contention. For some, these revelations seemed like a betrayal of the royal family's image and values. The public backlash was swift and intense, especially as the media began to amplify these concerns. As these secrets emerged, some questioned whether it was time for the royal family to distance themselves from their new princess. For Prince Mateen, the situation became increasingly complicated. The idealized image of him and his wife, once adored by fans worldwide, began to unravel. What had initially seemed like a perfect match, a prince and his flawless princess, was now clouded by the controversy surrounding Anisha's past. Many people wondered if these revelations, these hidden secrets, would have long-term consequences for the prince's public image. It was clear that for many Bruneians, the fairy tale had come to an abrupt end. Admiration and respect for the royal couple had given way to skepticism and disappointment. As more hidden secrets were revealed, it became clear that Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha's fairy tale romance was no longer the idealized narrative it once was. This shift in perception was further compounded by Brunei's cultural and religious values, which cast a stark light on Anisha's uncovered past. The cultural clash of Brunei's values and Anisha's lifestyle, with the divide between Anisha's liberal past and Brunei's deeply rooted traditions sparking heated discussions, questions were also raised about whether Anisha's previous lifestyle aligns with the expectations of the royal family in a conservative Muslim nation like Brunei. Brunei, a small yet wealthy nation on the island of Borneo, is a country where tradition and religion hold deep significance. As a Muslim-majority nation, Islam shapes not only the state's identity, but also daily life, dictating social norms that emphasize modesty, respect for tradition, and family honor. Activities like public displays of affection, drinking alcohol, and smoking, considered indulgent or inappropriate, are strongly discouraged, especially for members of the royal family. In this environment, where public behavior is closely monitored, the royal family serves as a symbol of national pride. Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah and his family embody Brunei's deeply held values, combining their wealth and power with a steadfast devotion to Islam. As such, the actions of the royal family are scrutinized and held to the highest standards, reflecting the nation's expectations for propriety and moral conduct. This scrutiny intensified when Prince Mateen, the Sultan's fourth son, married Anisha Isa Kalebic, a woman of mixed Bruneian and Croatian heritage. Anisha's life before marriage, marked by her exposure to Western cultural influences, soon became a focal point for controversy. Having spent much of her life abroad, she was accustomed to a more liberal lifestyle, one that allowed her to embrace a greater sense of freedom than what was expected in Brunei. She had lived in societies where modesty was not as strictly enforced and social norms were more relaxed compared to the conservative environment of Brunei. Anisha's lifestyle choices, particularly before her marriage, seemed at odds with Brunei's deeply conservative values. This cultural clash became evident when photos from Anisha's past began to surface after her wedding. Images showing her in revealing outfits, attending parties, drinking alcohol, and smoking behaviors considered inappropriate by Bruneian standards, especially for a woman who was now the wife of a prince. Social media was flooded with these photos, and many Bruneians who hold Islam and modesty in high regard were shocked by what they saw. To the public, these were not just images of a private citizen. They were the actions of a woman who had now assumed a royal title, one that came with immense responsibility and expectations. Some of the most controversial revelations were photos showing Anisha in intimate situations with men, which many viewed as a direct violation of Brunei's cultural norms. In Brunei, public modesty is a highly valued trait, and close physical contact between unmarried individuals of the opposite sex is discouraged. The fact that these images showed her in casual settings, sometimes smoking or partying with men, clashed with the reserved image the public expected from the wife of a royal figure. Anisha's mixed heritage and upbringing reflecting a combination of Southeast Asian modesty and Western freedom, may explain her previous lifestyle choices, but this was not something that sat well with many Bruneians. In fact, it created friction with Brunei's cultural expectations. For many Bruneians, 
The royal family represents the sacred guardians of Islamic and cultural traditions, leaving little room for deviation. As a result, Anisha's past actions have come to symbolize a broader tension between traditional and modern influences within Brunei. For many, these hidden secrets that began to emerge after her wedding were not just a matter of private history. They were seen as a challenge to the reputation of the royal family itself. As Prince Mateen's wife, Anisha was now expected to represent the values of Brunei's royal house. But her past actions now uncovered for the public to see appeared to undermine this role. With the shock of these revelations, some began to question whether Anisha, with her Western influences, could truly fit into the conservative framework of Bruneian royal life. It was clear that the emerging secrets had caused a deep divide, and many were left wondering how these revelations would affect not only the image of Prince Mateen, but the royal family's reputation as a whole. What's at stake for Prince Mateen? As a prominent member of Brunei's royal family, Prince Mateen of Brunei's image is crucial not only for his personal reputation, but also for upholding the monarchy's standing. So, when the hidden secrets of his wife, Princess Anisha, emerged, it sent shockwaves through the public. The scrutiny of her past behavior raised questions about Prince Mateen's judgment and the royal family's future prospects. Although Prince Mateen is not directly in line to inherit the throne, his position in the royal family carries significant weight. His influence and public perception persona contribute to the monarchy's broader image, and the criticisms of Anisha have led some to question his decision-making. As a royal figure, Mateen's image is crucial to the monarchy's reputation, and the controversy surrounding his wife puts that at risk. While it may not affect his immediate prospects in terms of ascending the throne, it does bring attention to his personal life, which could influence how he is perceived in the future. In many ways, this situation mirrors the scrutiny faced by other royals who have encountered public backlash after their marriages. One notable comparison is Rajwa Al Saif, who married Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan in 2023. Like Anisha, Rajwa became the focus of intense media attention and social media attacks, with critics dissecting her past, including photos some found inappropriate. Rajwa, much like Anisha, faced criticism for not meeting the public's expectations of a royal figure. Despite the similarities, Rajwa and her husband chose to remain silent and not engage with the media. They focused on protecting their privacy, especially during their honeymoon. Similarly, Prince Mateen and Anisha could take a similar approach to weathering the storm, focusing on their love and personal lives rather than public opinion. However, the difference lies in the level of scrutiny and the specific cultural context. While Rajwa's criticism was based on her personal history, the backlash against Anisha is compounded by the deeply ingrained Islamic values of Brunei, which play a significant role in shaping public opinion. The country's strict standards of modesty and behavior in public life make Anisha's past choices more controversial and damaging to the royal family's reputation. The controversy places Prince Mateen in a challenging position, he must balance defending his wife with protecting the royal family's legacy, all while navigating the expectations of a deeply traditional society. While the scandal may not directly threaten his role within the royal family, it has raised important questions about his ability to manage public perception and maintain the monarchy's image. How he addresses these issues will likely influence his legacy and his future standing in Brunei. Ultimately, the way Prince Mateen handles the fallout from Anisha's past will play a critical role in shaping both his personal reputation and his family's broader image. The stakes are high, and his response to this controversy will determine whether he can preserve the respect and admiration he has long enjoyed as a beloved royal figure. Navigating Public Scrutiny In the midst of the controversy surrounding Princess Anisha's past, the royal family, including Prince Mateen, has chosen a path of deliberate silence, refraining from engaging with the growing public scrutiny. This measured approach is consistent with the family's long-standing tradition of valuing privacy and maintaining dignity in the face of speculation. While the public eagerly awaits a reaction, the royal family's priority remains clear, to protect their personal lives from the relentless gaze of the media. The lack of a direct response from the royal family has led some to speculate about their stance, but it also emphasizes a crucial point. Privacy remains a cornerstone of their values, even in an era of constant digital exposure. For the Bruneian royal family, 
maintaining a certain level of mystery and discretion has always been part of their allure. Public life, especially for figures like Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha, is fraught with the pressures of scrutiny, but their insistence on keeping their personal matters private reflects a deep-rooted belief in the sanctity of family life. Despite the negative attention that has emerged following the uncovering of Anisha's past, the royal family's silence suggests that they do not wish to dignify the rumors with public comment. In many ways, they are choosing to stand firm on the principle that not every detail of their lives should be made available to the public. Princess Anisha, who has borne the brunt of the criticism, also seems determined to weather the storm without allowing it to undermine her sense of self. Despite the online vitriol and the judgment she has faced from some members of the public, she has remained steadfast and continues to embrace her role as Prince Mateen's wife, with grace and determination. She has not shied away from the negative attention. Rather, she continues to show her love for the prince, expressing that their bond is far more significant than the fleeting opinions of outsiders. For her, the judgment of her past behaviors, which many deem inappropriate for a royal wife, is secondary to the love and commitment she shares with her husband right now. Anisha's ability to remain resolute in the face of public ridicule highlights her strength and dedication to her relationship with Prince Mateen. Her insistence on standing by her choices, despite the judgment she faces, reveals a woman who values personal autonomy and the right to define her identity on her own terms. Even though her past has been exposed in ways that some in Brunei's conservative society find troubling, she appears to be holding her head high. She understands that people will always have opinions, but she is clear in her conviction that her love for Mateen is worth any backlash she may receive. The couple's refusal to engage in the controversy, coupled with their insistence on privacy, speaks to a larger theme of personal boundaries in the age of social media, where public figures often have little control over how their lives are portrayed. As the scrutiny surrounding Princess Anisha intensifies, it raises broader questions about the nature of public judgment and the right to privacy in today's digital age. In an era where everything, from personal photos to past behaviors, can be exposed with a few clicks, it's important to consider the impact of such revelations. The hidden secrets of Anisha's past have emerged for public consumption, and many have rushed to judge her for choices she made before marrying Prince Mateen. Yet as the world watches this royal drama unfold, one must ask a thought-provoking question. Should our judgment of others focus on who they were or who they have become? What do you think of the controversy surrounding Princess Anisha? Do you think it's fair to judge someone based on their past? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing contents. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.